hello you guys welcome to another weekly vlog so i am starting today um wednesday morning i'm actually working from home today you guys um which is great um because then i get to film so which is why i look like this i was trying out the new juvia's place um collection i was filming a video for that and um hopefully it will go up before this vlog but basically um when i work from home or actually just in case anyone out there is contemplating youtube and how to balance it with like you know having a full-time job so what i do is i try and film on weekends so weekends are my priority filming days but sometimes when i really want to film something else urgently what i do is i wake up early and i film before i go to work um it works well in the summer especially because the sun rises much earlier so like 6 30 or so the sun is already up so literally the moment the sun is up i can film sick usually like if i'm if i plan everything ahead i can do a video in an hour hour and a half get ready for work um and go so what i'll usually do is i'll shower everything get ready for work and then i'll film uh do my makeup whatsoever the case is and then i go to work in the winter it becomes a little bit harder because the sun doesn't rise as early i think the sun comes up at 7 30 so i'm losing like a whole hour of filming time um but then if i'm working from home it helps because then i don't have i don't need an hour to commute before work starts so um for example if i start work at eight then literally from immediately from filming i can go right into working like i am doing now so i'm about to start my work day actually um it's still quite early um uh i have a meeting in a little bit and but i'm just gonna knock out some emails and stuff before my meeting that i want to send um in for for, for review um since we're, we're talking work I'm, I'm gonna talk about my work day like working from home um i'm working in the kitchen on the kitchen counter only because um when i finish my work day or at lunchtime probably at lunchtime i still have to clean up where i was filming at so and that's usually you guys know that's where i work as well so it's a bit messy right now so that's why i can't work there I'm trying to figure out where my other tripod is I don't know where it is but I really need it anyway it's fine um, so I'm working from the kitchen counter today um, I could work at Yom's desk but I hate facing the corner like I feel like a naughty child um, when that happens when I have to do that um, but yeah um, this is where I'm working from I know you guys can't see my face so let me tilt that up um, and just yeah I'm gonna work I have I haven't had breakfast yet because I need to drink my lemon water first um, and then I'll maybe have a cup of tea or something but I don't know how how do you guys work so basically for me um, I have my planner my daily planner this is my life guys I can't function without one of these like if I go too long without having it on me I just go crazy so I usually have my planner which in which i put all my meetings and stuff it's not a fancy planner at all last year i had a fancy one but this year i literally just picked the first one up because i was so busy but yeah basically i have a planner and i put all my meetings and stuff in here and then what i do is i have a little notebook that goes with my planner so in it every day every morning or every night whatever the case may be i write a to-do list and then i check things off as i get them done so um yeah i did this one yesterday so now i'm going to do today's list quickly and then i'm going to start with my day um and usually when i compile my list i'm checking my emails as well so that way i know like if you know sometimes you see an email and you're like oh respond to that or need you know so I, I make my to-do list at the same time just so I make sure I'm on top of everything and I don't miss anything because I can be very forgetful it's such a sad sad thing but I can actually be very forgetful sometimes why don't you 
get it by now Tell me what you learned in grade school Give it to me like you want it Did you forget that golden rule? Why is our love it one-sided? It should really be give and take Fill you up and leave me empty Baby, was that my mistake? Covering these feelings Going through changes I'm just so mad right now I can't even think straight So I'ma just Treat it and delete it Knowing you won't read it Before we get too far away I need to clear my mind I'd rather just Try to talk about it Our history says we'll just argue And I know you're gonna act a fool And then no one could tell the difference Between me and you, babe Watch in front Hey you guys, so it's much later And as you saw, I just finished making dinner And you guys, yo I literally almost had a panic attack Because my camera kept saying Like I was trying to vlog I don't even know if that footage will come through I'd literally my camera would vlog for like maybe 10 to 15 seconds and then it will say memory card error and I'll stop switch it off switch it on same problem and I was starting to panic because just this morning I had told Yom that I had misplaced my two backup memory cards I don't know where they were they weren't in my memory card holder and I was like ah no it's fine because I can use the one I have until I go buy another one because it's always good to have a backup so tell me why the day I lose my memory cards, the main one, like my backups, the main one starts acting up. Yo guys, I went, like formatted it, you know, put it in my other camera, it's still not working. I literally started panicking, tried to do a quick search again for my other ones, which I haven't seen by the way since before Costa Rica, mind you. So I, I can't even think for the life of me where they are. And I'm panicking, I'm panicking, and I'm like, oh my gosh, does that mean we're not having a vlog this week? Which is was just upsetting me and my homegirl. <laughs> you guys know that reference. It was just so frustrating. Um, and then I googled it, did everything on Google, still wasn't working. And I put it in my main camera, and on there it said to try formatting it on the actual camera which I did and now it's working so I hope it stays working but I basically have to get a new I, mean, I don't know where those cards are I'm gonna try to look for them this weekend and then we'll see but anyway the point of me coming back coming on to camera and I'm sorry for that is because I wanted to share to sort of do a quick unboxing with you guys of some things that I received from brands um, so the first thing I already took the main packaging off of this one but it's from rare beauty which is the Selena Gomez brand um, they sent me their newly nearly neutral collection so this is like a blush like a cream blush um, they sent me a liquid liquid eyeshadow and they sent me a, a lip balm yeah a lip balm um i i i won't unbox it in time you guys are tippling over i won't share it oh i don't want to open these because i actually want to do a whole review on them which i want to film this weekend that you guys would see next week or the week after i'm still deciding so i don't want to kind of ruin the surprise but yeah i just wanted to show you guys that well as much as i could and then i also this evening received a package from i don't know if you guys can see but it says biosense 
which is a skincare brand and i just got this this evening so that's the name of the brand and i'm pretty excited so the box says good skin comes in biosounds packaging so it's a vegan brand it's cruelty free and i'm excited so it's wrapped in this thing i guess this is probably more sustainable than like plastic oh and it says our skincare safe sharks mm, okay this is their i think it's a, it's a collection of theirs i can't remember the name but again this is i'll do a full video on this um i just wanted to sort of share this with you guys but oh this 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 tripod is getting to me now i don't know where my other one is but basically they sent me these three products this is the biosan squalene and omega repair cream which is a face cream um like a super hydrating face cream which i'm super excited about because i've been tinkering with my winter skincare routine because in new york like this january february that's when the winter like hits its peak and like it's super cold like it's literally like zero downwards on most days so i was i have started tinkering with my uh winter skin routine because i need more moisture so i'm excited to try this out and incorporate it um and then i also got the squalene and lactic acid resurfacing night serum so this is an exfoliating serum that you use overnight and then the last thing they sent me is the biosan squalene and marine algae eye cream which is this so again i'm gonna sh um do a video for you guys i think this one will go the skincare one will go up um mm, will go up first just because i did put up a beauty video today so i hope you guys watch that please go watch that it's a fire video if i do say so myself i did put up one so i probably will do a skincare video that will go up next week so definitely be on the lookout for that especially if you're in the market for new skincare um yeah i'm definitely incorporating this i have read a bit about this so i'm pretty pretty excited to incorporate this um so i will definitely be sharing my um in new and improved winter nighttime skincare routine hi you guys oh my gosh so today is friday i'm i know i'm not moving like it but i'm kind of late for work not late 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 but later than I, like i like to get to the office like at least an hour ahead of time so today i'm not doing that um i'm just so so tired i had a very long day yesterday and i got home probably about eight so that was a lot um but now i'm quickly making a smoothie i'm so hungry but i don't have energy to make anything else so I figured I'll make a smoothie. Um, the last time I made this smoothie, it like it was a big portion, like this whole thing of my nutri bullet. It took me till well past lunchtime. Like I was full the entire time. It was basically my breakfast and my lunch. This is my last um, daily harvest smoothie. Um, it's basically just a pre-packed smoothie. I don't know if I've ever showed. I think I, I want to say I have showed these to you guys. It's just like pre-packed smoothies that you buy. Of course, you can make them and like pre-pack your fruit and pre-chop it. I'm just lazy like that sometimes. So I bought this a while ago. I got about 12 or so and some meals. And I only did so because I got a really good like discount. Like I got two discount codes on it. So it was like super cheap. Um, but basically it just comes like this. You just pop it open. Pop, pop, pop. 
well the idea is it's supposed to pop open quickly but then i just pour some water in and um i sweeten my smoothies with dates um so i just buy dates from the store take out the seed and use that to sweeten the smoothie my smoothie very nice and thick now i just need to find a thick enough straw and i like to use these bamboo straws that i got off and what i'm wearing today there's just no way to look cute in this weather but anyway i'm wearing these pants i have been obsessing with this look where your pants are like these are kind of like a bootleg cut almost um and then they're short like mid calf almost with like ankle boots i don't know i've just been loving that vibe um and i'm wearing it with a black like turtleneck polo neck whatever top some jewelry and then this huge puffer jacket on top just hides everything pointless right but a girl's gotta keep warm so yeah it's just what i'm wearing oh i just remembered i have to take my passport with me to work Hello, guys. Look who I found. You pick him up off the sidewalk. <laughs> now, now I'm taking him with me to go buy uh, vegetables at the farmers market. Was a delivery, okay? I was like, wow. On the top top. He sent me this gift. On the top top the side of the wall. <laughs> but is it really a gift? <laughs> Or trouble. Or Trojan horse. <laughs> uh, Trojan horse, exactly. But it's fine. Oh, I forgot to put on sunscreen. Oh, okay. It's fine. It's fine for now. It's really not, but it's okay. Why don't you tell me to pick my sunglasses too? Uh, uh, what did you say? Everybody put themselves. Did I never wear? said that. You know what you said? When I was asking you to wear the things and whatnot, I, I got the jacket, got this, you were like, what? Why are you bothering me? It's my life. What? Why are you my way? <laughs> Who are you talking to? It definitely wasn't me. I didn't say any of those things. thing will not happen <laughs> not while I'm outside this is too cold for me Let's keep it's my hands out oh look at that little bit of sunshine yeah. oh. it's as deceptive as winter so deceptive um, but we're almost at the farmers market now I feel like we have to are we gonna cut through here or? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah as opposed to I don't know which one is better going around all the way okay we're gonna cut this. I'm just so cold, I can barely even like breathe properly. So I'll see you guys. Yeah, this thing. Hey guys, so yeah. we're playing uh, so, 30 seconds. So now I can see why you guys needed to add some numbers in. Yeah, yeah, that's really bezel. Like, well, actually, that's all the way down. Numbers. Okay, no worries. Okay. Um, um, neighboring country to Namibia, um, Kalahari. Okay. Hapo Rwanda, Namibia. Okay. 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 Okay.
uh, I left you guys when we were at my friend's place and we were playing 30 seconds which I discovered apparently is a purely South African game I always thought the edition we had in Southern Africa was the Southern, Southern African edition turns out it's a purely Southern African game no one in America has ever heard of it who would have thunk it? I don't know that. So I found that out last night. But um, it is Sunday morning and I came on here to just close out the vlog. And I know I'm looking crusty because I just woke up. And I decided to make myself some apple cider vinegar. Just because I've been, I've fallen off with drinking apple cider vinegar, you guys. Like, why am I out of focus? <clears throat> I've fallen out of drinking apple cider vinegar uh, you guys know last year I started drinking it and it was amazing for like weight loss and stuff so I used to drink it twice a day and I've just gone off I did get apple cider vitamin gummies because in my mind I was like oh yeah I forget to drink it then I can just grab the pills and go but I've even been forgetting to use those so now I'm like today is my first day of getting back to it um, but I'm going to close off the vlog here. I have actually quite a busy day ahead of me. I have, okay, I'm going to do church, online church at 10. Then after that, I need to, well, first I'm going to edit this vlog, online church. Ah, this plot is so dramatic. I just watered her. Why is she looking like that? I'm sorry, I'm distracted. Online church editing um i have a i have a wax appointment this afternoon after that i have to come back and film a video um and take a picture for instagram and then i have to take down my braids i mean do i really have to take down my braids i feel like i could push it one more week i could technically i could but I don't, they're really old um, I have to take down my braids possibly and then I have to prepare for work tomorrow but anyway I wanted to come on close this vlog, wish you guys a very great week um, and I thought I would share something with you guys um, I've been you know, a lot of people have been saying, you know, what's your word or what's your the theme or whatever for your year in 2021. And I'll be honest with you guys that for me, I feel like it's restoration. And it's so many things in my life over the past few months, weeks that have for me been signs that that is what this year for me is the year of restoration you know and I feel like the heavens will open up and there will rain out crazy blessings um, and I know that and the, and the key thing I realized is that in the midst of waiting for the heavens to open up it may not feel <clears throat> like it's a it's gonna be restoration and like waiting for that restoration might not feel like there's gonna be restoration any restoration at all so for me it was like um praising in the desert waiting on rain right and then because you know it's coming even though it's like an impossible thing like rain in the desert what might be rambling here but and then i listened to isaiah song by maverick city and it, and the entire song for me was just like wow literally was speaking to everything that was on my heart and then one of the standout lines in the song was what was a barren seed it like is giving birth right now and I'm just thinking like of all the things that maybe me, you, anybody else in 2020 planted all the dreams we planted seeds we planted that just were not giving birth or giving life to anything and i feel like those seeds are coming alive this year i, I truly believe that like so i'm excited that's why i want you guys to have a good week and to think of that when you feel um 
crap and like you know when it's like wednesday thursday and you're just over the week think about that that those those blessings are coming those seeds are coming alive so just keep pushing let's keep pushing guys um yeah and i'll see you guys in my next vlog please make sure you're subscribed um and you're following me on instagram and yeah Knowing you won't read it before we get too far away. I need to clear my mind.